Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to add these three dissimilar fractions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. By the way guys, I mentioned ko kanina yung dissimilar fraction. Short review lang tayo. When we say dissimilar fractions, these are fractions with different denominators. When I notice nyo, yung first fraction natin, meron siyang 8 as your denominator. Second fraction, meron siyang 4. Yung third natin, meron siyang 6. So, ang tanong dito, sir, how are we going to add these three dissimilar fractions? So, ang gagawin natin ngayon dito, we will do two different ways or two different methods on how to add these fractions. Yung unang gagawin natin ay yung conventional way at yung pangalawa ay yung method na isasuggest ko sa inyo. Pero, ang masasabi ko lang, nasa'yo pa rin kung alin ang pipiliin mo. Is it the first or the second one? So, let's try. So let me use this space. Hati natin sa dalawa. Let me copy the first one. We have 1 over 8 plus 1 over 4 plus 2 over 6. Now, yung first step natin, yung first way natin, or first method natin, is yung paggamit natin ng LCD. So hanapin natin yung LCD. Remember guys, if you have 8, 4, and 6, to get the LCD, kailangan mo makuha yung kanilang list common multiple. At kung meron kang 8, 4, and 6, the list common multiple is simply 24. Sir, what's the next step? Our next step natin is we will divide this list common denominator, so original denominators, and then multiply sa ating numerator. So try natin. 24 divided by 3, that is equal to, again, 24 divided by 8, that is equal to 3 times 1. So we have equal to 3. Then copy the operation plus 24 divided by 4. That is equal to 6 times 1. That is equal to 6. Next, copy the operation plus 24 divided by 6. That is equal to 4 times 2. That is equal to 8. So what's next is that we will add the numerators. We have 3 plus 6 plus 8. And that would give you the answer of 17 over 24. And now, this is our answer for this given fraction. We have 17 over 24. So what's next? Yung second method natin, dapat ang makuha pa rin natin ay itong 17 over 24. So, let's copy the given fractions. 1 over 8 plus 1 over 4 plus 2 over 6. So, dito, halos parehas lang naman siya ng method. Ang mangyayari lang ay, ang mangyayari lang dito guys, ito siya. Magbabago lang tayo ng konti dahil uh, meron tayo ibang method na gagamitin. But still, kailangan lang natin dito maging same yung ating denominators. Okay, let's try guys. Ngayon, kailangan natin maging same yung denominator at kung alam naman natin, di ba, ang target dapat natin maging 24. So, ang tanong dito, ano ang maging multiplier natin to make 8 be equal to 24? And the answer there is 3. So, we will multiply your denominator with 3. Siyempre, dapat yung numerator mo rin by 3. Now, for 4, Ano maging multiplier natin to get 24? Kailangan mo lang ito yung multiply sa 6 as well as your numerator. And for your denominator naman, okay, for your denominator, kailangan mo lang siyang i-multiply by 3. Ay, by 4, di ba? By 4. Okay? Multiply by 4 and multiply by 4. Simplify natin. 1 times 3 is 3 over 8 times 3 which is 24 plus 1 times 6 that is 6 over 24 plus 2 times 4, 8 uh, 2 times 4 which is 8 over 24 as you can see guys pare parehas na yung ating denominator okay so as you can see we have 24 24 24 copy natin then add your numerators. 3 plus 6 which is 9 plus 8 which is equal to 
17. And as you can see, same man nakuha natin sa got. So ang tanong dito, alin ang naging mas madali para sa iyo? Is it the first method or the second method? So masasagot mo 'yan gamit yung challenge natin. I want you to answer this given problem. Okay? We have one third plus one fourth plus three over five. So I hope na masagutan mo ito guys and see you sa atin next video. Bye bye. Yan.